Namaskar. I am Mohanji Acharya Lakshmi Mohan Ananda. And on this beautiful day of Sri Hanuman Jayanti, it gives me great pleasure to speak to you about Sri Hanuman. Mohanji says that Sri Hanuman represents our mind. Mind is influenced by what it is associated with. Sri Hanuman represents supreme devotion to his Guru Lord Ram. When the connection is with Lord Ram, you have the Ashta Siddhis, Eight Siddhis and Nav Niddhis, Nine Wells, which are all great powers. Being deeply connected to Lord Ram, Sri Hanuman is an embodiment of the supreme power. Sri Hanuman, the mind, was connected and fully occupied with Lord Ram, who is stability and eternity. And that gave Lord Hanuman supreme power. Mind became stable. This is why we worship Sri Hanuman as a reminder that whatever you are connected to, you become that. If the mind is connected to something negative, for example, negative thoughts, fears, anxieties, negative ideas, you become negative and weak. If mind is connected to something positive, for example, positive people, positive ideas, positive visions, or if your mind is connected with God or a powerful guru, you become powerful. Sri Hanuman represents the possibilities of the mind, the highest power. Over the next few weeks, we will together learn the Sri Hanuman Chalisa. Sri Hanuman Chalisa was lovingly written by Goswami Tulsidas. Today we will focus on Doha, which is the important invocation that is before the sacred 40 verse Sri Hanuman Chalisa. Salutations to Sri Ganesh Ji. Salutations to the lotus feet of Mohanji. Salutations to Sri Ram. Salutations to Sri Hanuman. Sri Guru Charana Saroj, Nija Mana Mukha Rasudar, Varano Raghuvala Vimalayasha, Jo Dayaka Palachar. The direct translation is, after cleansing the mirror of my mind with the pollen dust of holy Guru's lotus feet, I profess the pure untainted glory of Sri Raghuvira, which bestows the fourfold fruits of life. In simple terms, with the blessings of Guru or teacher, my mind becomes clean and pure so that I can recite the pure glories of Sri Ram who is Raghuvira. Reference is made to the feet of Guru, which is a very sacred aspect. In respect, we bow to the feet of the Guru. Even if we touch the dust from the feet of Guru, we become blessed. Guru is the compassionate, unconditional and pure path that leads us to God. The Guru has the ability to cleanse our mind and helps us to remember God, to remember Sri Ram. Sri Ram grants the fruits of life, which is Dharma, doing good and righteous deeds, Artha, being prosperous and having wealth, Kama, is the enjoyment of life, and finally Moksha, which is a liberation from attachment of life. Buddhi hina tanujanake, sumi ropa vana kumar, bala buddhi vidya te homohi hare hukale shavikar. In direct translation, 
Fully aware of the deficiency of my intelligence, I concentrate my attention on Pavan Kumar and humbly ask for strength, intelligence and true knowledge to relieve me of all blemishes causing pain. In simple terms, being aware that I do not know everything, I focus on Sri Hanuman, who is Pavan Kumar, meaning the son of the wind god, and I pray to him to give me strength, wisdom and true knowledge, therefore removing all the negative aspects in my life which causes pain. Thank you so much for joining me today. I wish you a beautiful and blessed Hanuman Jayanti. Namaskar.